spicy, <laughs> thick little point up on the board. Cup, cup. Wow. Oh, it's gonna burn. Oh, oh, oh it's no. gonna be on Why? fire. It oh, what a colossal fire. mistake. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and non-binary friends, to another episode of Stan versus the Internet. The show where we take a major fan of a thing and battle their knowledge against someone with facile typey fingers. Today, our special guest is none other than Gerard the Completionist. Oh. I did it, guys. It, it took me a long time, but I finally appeared in the Smosh thing. Yay! You <laughs> completed the goal. I did, Crossed I did. it off your list. Yeah. Today's topic is video game movies. Uh, 10 out of 10 times, they're really good, and the director really understands what makes a video game fun. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna be talking about facts with those today. Basic rules is the stand will have 30 seconds to answer. If they have it up on the top of their noggin, they're gonna buzz in and at least give a guess. Uh, if they get it right, they get a point. If they get it wrong, it goes over to the internet. Courtney, and she will have 30 seconds to Google it and figure out the answer. Gerard. Are you a stand of video game movies? Uh, I am for all the wrong reasons. Uh, most of them are awful, yes. and I remember that they're awful and they are stuck in here. Yeah. So We do love a good hate watch around these parts. Speaking of hate watch, if you are not yet subscribed or liking <laughs> our videos, please go ahead and hit that bell, hit that subscription. We do fun stuff all the time. You don't have to hunt us down. We'll come right to your inbox. Courtney, you are the internet today, so you're gonna have 30 seconds to find the answer using the Googles if Gerard is unable to do so, but would you still consider yourself a fan of video game movies? I haven't seen a lot of them, surprisingly, so I feel like I'm in a good position uh, to nice. be non-biased and not a problem. All right, y'all, so let's get rolling right into it. Let's do um, it. All right, so question numero eins. What is the highest grossing video game movie of all time? Without even finishing the question, Gerard! That would be Sonic the Hedgehog 2020. Wow, that is correct! Yeah! Yep. Immediately. One colossal point up on the board. Um, just for funsies, do you want to give a wild guess for how much it made? Uh, I'm going to guess uh, between 95 to 125 million dollars. It's 148. Oh, okay, so a little under. Yeah, if yeah. we combine our three net words, they almost made as much as we exist for. <laughs> so, dang. Let's, let's change it up, a little bit more of a weird one. What is the lowest grossing, and we're talking about the full wide release, video game movie of all time? Oh gosh. Ooh, no. Um, Blood Rain? That is a great answer. Unfortunately, it's not quite what we're looking for. Oh. Quarterly, okay. lowest grossing video game movie of all time. You got 30 seconds and Chase Pavements. What's your favorite noise to make while typing? Wow. That's really good. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's the Yoshi technique. It is the yeah. Yoshi Tech, it's the Boing Ha. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Boing Ha. Boing Ha. Um, I believe it is Double Dragon of 1994. Oh, can I guess again? This is just for funsies, it can't be for a point. You got it, you What got is your it. answer? I'm gonna say Dead or Alive. Courtney, it was Dead or Alive, your favorite video game oh. of all time. I love Dead or Alive 3, and it's not because of the boobs. It's because of the story arc. Dead or Alive made $480,000 wide release. I forgot wow. that movie existed. Um, That's why I, 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 was, I was in that ooey yeah. bowl range, right? but not close enough. Oh, are you a part of everyone? Okay. <laughs> Forgetting that that movie existed? <laughs> Courtney, wow. how much shame do you feel right now? Mild shame. Mm. Moving right along. Mila Jovovich is best known for starring in the Resident Evil films, but what other video game movie did she also star in? Ah, oh, that's gonna be Gerard. Monster Hunter. The answer is Monster Hunter. Spicy, thick little point up on the board. Cup, cup. Wow. Oh, it's gonna burn. Oh, oh, oh it's no. gonna be on Why? fire. It's oh, what a colossal fire. mistake. Gerard, for one big old point, who played the narrator in all three Spider-Man tie-in games? I'm gonna say a one Bruce Campbell. Uh, that is a one point for you because it is Bruce Campbell. Wow. Let's go. Wow. Let's okay. go. Amazing. I'm here with my favorite actor, Bruce Campbell. I fear for you. I fear too, uh, yeah. for the, the whole overall situation. Okay. It's a dude from Evil Dead. Uh, Gerard, for one point, what video game movie adaptation was also directed by the original creator of that video game series? Yeah, Gerard. That's gonna be Hironobu Sakaguchi for Final Fantasy Spirits Within. 
Uh, I don't have the name here, but I'm going to agree because it is Final Fantasy Spirits Within. Here we go. I remember being a huge Final Fantasy fan at that time, and then I was like, oh, which game is it based off of? They're like, new story, and I was like, I'm okay. The reason why <laughs> I know that is because that's basically why Hironobu Sakaguchi, who is often touted as the father of Final Fantasy, basically got kicked out of Square Enix because the movie was so bad oh, that no. they basically pushed oh, him out. no. Oh, what a shame. They pushed him out. They he, like, he left. You can't, but... you can't sit with us. What games was that between? Like, is that a noticeable shift in game style? Basically, I think Final Fantasy X was the last one. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, wow. I, think, I think I think he he may have worked a little bit on twelve, but like that was like around that time they were like bye bye. Twelve was great. Twelve, 12 was, good. was great. I'm Captain Bosch. Okay. <laughs> All right. Without Masca. <laughs> okay. You guys so should go like hang out at a bar. <laughs> <laughs> this one is a question. What white man played the Prince of Persia? <laughs> With the, with the worst British dialect of all time. I'm going to go with Jake Gyllenhaal. That is cultural appropriation for one point. Oh, hey. my goodness. Literally, he's like, don't break your luck. And you're like, what are you saying? I wasn't born in a palace like you. I was born in the slums of Nassaf. He looked, oh, it's the minute gorgeous. he opens his mouth, you're like, oh, no. That's funny. Yeah. Most men, for me, that's <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the current points stand at five for humanity and a little zero for Skynet. Um, I'm gonna start getting a little bit more uh, tricky here. According to the Rotten Tomatoes, what is the highest rated video game movie of all time? Oh man, I feel like, I'm gonna get this wrong, but it feels right, Sonic the Hedgehog 2020. That's what I would have said as well, but I'm gonna turn it on over to the internet. What video game movie, according to Rotten Tomatoes, has the highest rating a hard one. of all time? It is a hard one. You gotta add some stakes. Yeah. You know what? And this one's worth two points. Uh -huh. Oh, there you go, there you go. Okay. Okay. Uh, Werewolves Within? That is correct. Oh, wow. that was such a good movie, but I didn't think anyone saw it. Yeah, it's like so it, new. It, it came out last year, yeah. Uh, for one bonus point, what is the next highest rated video game movie of all time? I'll give you a hint, still not Sonic. Uh, ooh, still not Sonic? Mm -mm. <laughs> oh man, it's probably one of those Angry Bird movies. Do you have a guess on which one? Well, Ian was, he, Ian was in the first one. Was Ian was in the first one and he wasn't in the second one. How does that affect your rating? <laughs> I'm gonna say probably Angry Birds 1. What was that? Angry Birds 2? Angry Birds 2 is right! Yeah. That's one point! I was close. I was yeah. in that you vicinity. Were. You I was like, it. I would not have ever, I like forget that Angry Birds was a video game. It's like, because right. it's, it, those movies have the Pixar vibe to them because they're animated, so yeah. you're like, you don't really consider them video games. Right. They're just like pretty Pixar films. Speaking of amazing Pixar films. Oh God. Let's talk about the movie Pixels. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Which of the following video game protagonists did not appear in the 2015 movie Pixels? Mm -hmm. A, Pac-Man, B, the Super Mario Brothers, C, Sentipede, or D, Donkey Kong? This is a trick question. News to me. Because technically speaking, all of them are in the movie. I, I'm assuming that the answer is gonna be Mario Brothers by default. Yes. Yeah. So, so there is a few shots that the Mario Brothers sprites are in the background yeah. in, towards the end of the movie. There's like the culmination of all those pixels coming wow. together. One. There he is. There's Mario. There you go, guys. Are is I guess the question should be prominently featured mm. because Centipede, Pac-Man, and Donkey Kong were plot points in the film, but technically Mario was in the movie. Was, is this the Adam Sandler movie? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of, dude, yeah. the worst part of that movie, uh, no joke. Qbert becomes a hot woman and sleeps with Josh Gad and they make mini Qberts. That's how the movie ends. But no one else is weirded out by this? That was just Qbert. Okay, <laughs> moving back to questions. Uh, nepotism can only get you so far. Name the flop of a video game movie directed by the son of a famous rock star. Uh, the person is Duncan Jones, and the film is World of Warcraft. Amazing, and uh, why is Duncan Jones nepotism? Do you know who's son there? Oh, uh, David Bowie. 
Amazing, wow. you got all the things. Yeah. You got it. Literally, you complete, you really are the completionist. It's all in here. <laughs> For some awful reason, it's all in here. <laughs> we are down to our last six questions. I'm going to go a little bit faster here, and I'm going to make them worth double points. How are your fingers feeling? Rested? They are extremely ready to go. Amazing. Before Tom Holland was ultimately cast, who was going to play the lead role of Nathan Drake in the Uncharted film, Gerard? That's a one, Mark Wahlberg. That is the... Racist Mark Wahlberg. Yep. <laughs> Leave it in. We should talk about it. Uh, <laughs> Mark Wahlberg. Um, Wayne the Drock Johnson has starred in two films based on video games, Rampage and Gerard. Doom. Doom is correct. I thought Doom was a typo and it was just Dune. <laughs> oh. Can you imagine if Dwayne Johnson and Timothy Sportschelle were best friends? His head looks like a bike seat. Now, you know, I never thought about it that way. What is the only racing video game to be turned into a movie? <laughs> the <whole> question? <laughs> Doesn't it? Only, oh! Need for Speed. It is Need for Speed. Cool. Gotta take life a quarter mile at a time, Mr. White. Which 90s pop icon starred in the film adaptation of Street Fighter? I think that's Gerard. Kylie Min Minogue? It is Kylie Minogue. Yeah. That's a big Kylie Min yes for me, <laughs> dog. <laughs> Name the Scooby-Doo co-stars that also co-starred in a film adaptation of a popular 80s arcade game. Whoa. You don't need to know the 80s arcade game, but it would help for you to know the two actors. It would really help. Oh man, I don't know it. Uh, Matthew Lillard and uh, Sarah, uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar. It's as close uh, as I'm gonna get. Okay, I have to turn it over to the internet. Courtney, Scooby-Doo co-stars, also co-starred in a film adaptation of a popular 80s arcade game. How many push-ups can they do? Okay, um, okay, so I'm just gonna take 30, like a few more seconds. Okay. You know what, this one's worth five points. It okay. doesn't matter, okay, okay. nothing matters. Okay. I think that's Courtney. This is not right. I Googled wrong. I'll be the judge of that. So, with Scott Eines and Joe Alasky. That is uh, colossally incorrect. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the cash grab. Those are literal opposite people to these. I don't even know what those totally are. opposite people. You were almost right. So we were looking for Freddie Prince Jr. and Matthew Lillard of Wing Commander. Oh my gosh. <gasps> right? Wing Commander. Oh, I forget about that movie every day. Yeah. Gosh darn it. I was Never. so, I got half, the, uh, half of it right. You did. You know what? It doesn't matter at this point. 30 points to Gerard. Hey, look at that. Um, well, that feels pretty good to be here. Gerard, we have reached our last question. It is a bonus question. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna give you, because you really need to catch up here, multiple <laughs> opportunities. Okay. For every right answer, you get 10 points. Okay. Um, same goes for you, Courtney. But Gerard goes first. That's fine. I'm just vibing. First of all, before bonus questions, did you have fun today? I did. Awesome. Where, where can people find you? Oh, you can find me at youtube.com slash that one video gamer for my show, The Completionist. Or you can check me out on G4 TV. I'm one of the hosts of X Play. Woo! Delightful. Yeah. Positively delightful. So, our final question to ring in humanity's victory over the robots. Name as many video game movies directed by Uwe Boll as you can. All right, uh, in the name of the king, Blood Rain, Postal, uh, God, the rest are a blur because they're all awful. Um, oh, God, 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 God. I know there's at least four or five more. Um, Silent Hill, one of the Silent Hills. Uh, I don't know if that one's right. Postal 2? They made a sequel, maybe? That's all I got. Okay, you got three of them. You named Blood Rain, Postal, and In the Name of the King. Courtney, can you get the other three? Video game movies directed by Uwe Boll. I'm mad I didn't get more. Uh, I think it's Courtney. Far Cry. And wow, there's like, okay, Blood Rain. That was already. Known. Okay, just saying the thing, this is a long list, so I'm oh, gonna oh, just oh. like keep going. I could literally read his entire 34 movies and things that he's directed. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give you those 10 points. Gerard, you get 30. Bring us a grand total of, it doesn't matter, humanity wins, Gerard! Thanks. We have our Aww. specific Gerard little thing. I completed it. Whoa! Oh.
almost very That was a good thick. throw. Thank you. That was a very wow, good throw. Wow, this is getting full. All right, uh, right there next to uh, actually both of us, which is uh, welcome to the family. Um, Y'all, this has been yet another episode of Stan versus the Internet. Humanity survives for another day. Again, if you want to see other things that we do, why we do this all the time, why not look at this video over here or that video over here? Uh, closing words, Gerard. Closing words, Courtney. Uh, whatever you do, do not see Max Payne the movie. Mark Wahlberg is in it and he ruined it and that's why I'm mad at Mark Wahlberg. Don't make any more video game movies. Thank you. One of many reasons to be mad at Mark Wahlberg.